Radhe Radhe everyone, in this video I have invited Akshita Chinthala who recently has cracked the job of a MIS executive in a multinational company and most importantly as a fresher in this current competitive market. We will discuss about her journey so far, her job hunting strategies which actually helped her to get interview calls, all the important interview questions which she has gathered from her interview experiences as well as we will discuss about the salary range which one can expect as a MIS executive. So this video will be very much helpful for you all so stay tuned till then. Let's start the video and before that please do hit the like button of this video. It really motivates me to bring more useful videos for you all subscribe to the channel if you're new to it and you can also follow me on instagram learn with gigs so akshita let's start with your introduction first um, hi sir i'm akshita and i'm from hyderabad i i did my schooling in residential school in 2018 and later i completed my intermediate in 2020 after that i completed my bachelor's in information technology in 2020 so after completion of my graduation i did some I got in some opportunities and I did some few internships, but I wasn't fully satisfied with that kind of field. So on the time I was um, started exploring new things and exploring different options. So that's where I realized uh, data analytics was the field I was looking. Um, maybe around uh, January 2025, I started uh, my learning journey in data analytics. I firstly I started began with Excel and then moved on Power BI and later SQL. So after learning each tool, I made sure to work on projects to gain some practical knowledge. Um, at first, um, I made mistakes of trying to learn everything at once, but uh, that's only created so much confusion for me. So later I understand it's better to focus on one tool at a time and master it and then move on to the next one. So like I wanted to say here, like uh, we are all uh, rushing to complete everything at once. But um, don't uh, stress about finishing everything at once. Take one step at a time and enjoy the process and stay consistent. Maybe that's the e easiest way to grow without burning out. And uh, along with the technical skills, I started building my network. I more, uh, most importantly, I engaged actively in LinkedIn and attended mostly offline meetups and interacted with professionals, students, and the people who are making career transitions and all these experience gave me a lot of motivation and helped me to grow both pro like personally and professionally. All right. Um, so you mentioned that you started your upskilling journey in January 2025. So in which month you finally got this job? In September. Sir. Okay. This month only you have got this job. Yeah. So can you tell the audience what all strategies you followed to actually get the interview calls? Actually, like when I started applying for uh, jobs, I will be honest, I was so nervous at the beginning. I didn't feel confident enough uh, to apply because I, I thought maybe I wasn't enough uh, to apply for this role or something. But uh, I pushed myself to start. Um, and on the time, I started exploring um, new portals like LinkedIn, Indeed, Intanshala, and Naukri. So in, instead of like clicking quick applies on LinkedIn and Naukari, I researched the openings and visiting every official uh, career portals and applied properly. And I used to remodify every resume according to the job description. So one key thing that helped me was updating my Naukari profile daily. In every morning, I made it a habit like refreshing my uh, profile and highlighting my skills and like daily updating my Naukri profile at and I used uh, it around 9 to 11 in morning uh, and I also like dedicated few hours usually from uh, 9 to 1 o'clock for only job applications look like I spent whole uh, half day for only applying for the jobs so like job I would say here like Job searching is very stressful, but like treat it like a routine. Don't overthink about uh, rejections. Just keep applying consistently. Then when uh, the right call will be come when you are ready. Akshita, can you tell how did you actually get the interview call of the current company in which you are working? Uh, actually, the whole process uh, of getting this opportunity was quite unexpected. Uh, one evening around maybe seven o'clock, I suddenly got a call like my resume was shortlisted and if possible, I should connect for an interview at eight o'clock on the same day. Just after one hour, you had to attend the interview. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah. 
okay. uh, and i was uh, i was really nervous on that time because i got sudden call i need to prepare but uh, so i said uh, i didn't want to miss the opportunity so i said okay I, we will connect uh, so on the time i just had one hour to prepare so i just uh, quickly revised the concept uh, which i already studied and the main uh, which are mostly important uh, questions that helped me to uh, clear the first round and the second wa- uh, second round was more more focused on excel part in the first round what all things what all uh, skills they targeted uh, they said like uh, it mainly focused on excel but they uh, searching for the people who are skilled in power bi and sql also Okay. so the uh, whole interview was covered with excel power bi and sql questions uh, then second round was more morely focus on excel that was conducted uh, in person at interview like in company uh, so they asked me different kind of excel questions um, and there is a practical data set they given some data set and they given some uh, normal uh, questions and some tricky questions Uh, but i managed uh, handle them uh, after clearing that i moved on to the managed round which is uh, which was the final round so yeah I, thankfully i cleared the round and i got the opportunity uh, guys you can listen from akshita's journey so one hour changed her life completely in just one hour she prepared herself and gave the interview and, and she cleared it also so you have to be ready for the interviews at any point of time if you are searching for the job it can happen that you can get the call at any point the wait has happened for akshita so akshita now let's focus on the important interview questions from mis executive kind of roles what all things or what all topics you think are important if somebody has to attend this kind of interview so these are the uh, important questions or general questions that mostly interviewers can ask i would say mostly people who are looking for mis they really need to know the lookups because lookups uh, plays key role uh, in interviewers uh, interview point of view it, it 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 was really important so mainly focus on we look up h lookup x lookup and index match and this uh, make important of some ifs and count ifs with some examples uh, and mostly people didn't know about offset but it is also an important um, topic uh, to re- recall before the interviewer so obviously pivot tables uh, it's important and some functions uh, that we can help uh, from in excel like conditional formatting and how to combine multiple sheets and cell references it's it's also important um, and some basic functions of text date time and some conditions with if and if ifs so okay uh, power bi questions difference between like calculated columns and measures it was really important because i used to get a lot uh, this questions was repetitive in my every interview and can you explain like dax functions these commonly used functions so so power bi how to connect uh, with excel and sql and difference between import mode and direct query and live connections and Uh, mainly power bi in some interviews they will going to ask about like based on scenarios mm, then schemas obviously star and snowflake schema so and, and how to handle many to many relationships and some functions like all all except and remove filters and tags and uh, coming to sql uh, mainly important like commands so and the difference between where and having and joins or uh, if possible i learn explain more detail about joins like how it will be performs and with examples and the difference between union and union all and how to use group by with aggregation functions and window functions it was really important mm, window functions like row number the difference between row number rank and dense rank and cte obviously it's important and finally some scenario questions like Uh, fetch top five highest selling products from sales data something so these are important questions i would say all right uh, thanks uh, akshita for sharing this uh, definitely it will be helpful for the audience who will be uh, watching this video uh, and friends if you want this uh, document uh, let me know just comment down yes i will take this document from Ch- uh, akshita and then provide you the link to download it so let me know in the comment box Okay, Akshita. So now let's focus on the salary. Okay, uh, a lot of people have this curiosity. If somebody is going for MIS executive kind of roles, 
what salary one can expect in this role um it's around 3.25 to 4 lps thanks akshita uh, for coming and sharing your journey it was really insightful people will definitely get a lot of motivation from you and and from your journey thanks again for coming and sharing your journey uh, thank you sir thank you for inviting me i just wanted to say one thing to the viewers like um i was kind of person who really um, felt so much stress to getting job uh, from my journey so i just wanted to say to the people who are uh, aspiring in this journey like don't lose hope uh, don't take much stress just enjoy the journey give you a 100% one day uh, you are you are like your hard work will be definitely going to pay off so just have a hope and give your best everything will be all right thank that's you great. sir that's great akshita great points thank you akshita